If you trade on NinjaTrader 8.1.6, you're thinking about upgrading to it, this update video is gonna be worth your time. I'm breaking down the eight features that are actually gonna change your workflow and the five fixes that eliminate showstoppers. I'm gonna show you the most important stuff you need to know about in this video without having to comb through hundreds of release notes items. So let's get to it. Sometimes you need a clean chart right now. So right click, hit show indicators, boom, clutters off. Perfect for fast review without rebuilding layouts. Now, how do you get this back? On any chart, right click, click on show indicators. Now what you really wanna do is bind this to a hotkey. So underneath your control center for NinjaTrader 8, go to tools, hotkeys, charts, and then add a hotkey underneath where it says show indicators, press okay. To toggle off and you temporarily hide all your indicators, plots, and labels, and then you press it again to turn it on to restore your exact indicator setup. No sounds lost. Now the next feature is a multiple time highlighter, and you can have multiples of these, I guess is where they get the name from. You can come into your properties and you can go all the way down to where it says time highlighter and change this from zero to let's just say we want three of them. Uh, so we can go in here now, we can see our time highlighter one, two, and three, and we can pick a start time and an end time, as well as we can also have a color associated with each one. And I like to personally put the opacity down even lower from 10 or even five or two can really look good. Having a dark uh, black and, and a, a gray work out well, or depending on what your theme is, you can pick and then select your different start and end times and you'll see that printed on your background. Now, popular use cases of this might be like a pre-market versus a regular session. You could have different uh, market zones like the Asian market, the European markets, the North American markets, you know, a whole bunch of different ones that you can set up here depending on what's important to you. And then you can customize the start and end times. There, so now you can see on, on the background why a low opacity rating is actually really good because then you can make it less distracting than what it is. But feel free to play around with it and come up with your own different settings and you can definitely play around with this new feature in the future. Okay, now when you right click on your chart, you can go to templates and load and you'll see they've streamlined how you can load all these templates now that you have. So you don't actually have to open up a dialog box and just right click, go down to templates, go to load and then turn indicators on or off depending on what templates you have. And you can do that pretty easily now by just right clicking and avoiding that whole dialog box that asks you to find and select the template. So now all the templates get loaded up into your context menu there so that you can pull them up quickly without uh, having any troubles. It's a nice little feature. It's not a must have, but it certainly does remove some clicks, which makes it more. So now you can move back up or share your full layouts or your workspaces from your control center. And it is pretty easy. If you have a new machine or a new team member on your trading team, you got two clicks and you're basically mirrored. So here's how you do it. You open up your control center, you go to workspaces and then export. Choose the workspace that you want to export, hit export, and it creates a portable package for you. So on your other machine, go and go into control center, go to workspaces and import, and pick the package you wish to import. Activate the import workspace from the workspace menu, and you're basically done. I find this is gonna be extremely handy when you are mainly trading on your workspace or in your workstation, and then you want to move it to a laptop or whatever, because you're only on vacation. You can export your workspaces, import it into your laptop setup, and you're good to go. Okay, so now you can enter the market with your mouse. Uh, you take a keyboard modifier, like an alt key, and you attach a left click to it, and you can do instant orders on your chart. It's basically muscle memory speed at that, that point. Uh, now, how you would use this or configure it, you would go into your control center, tools, hotkeys, and under your order entry, you will see where you can place your order entries, uh, key combinations for your chart. So you might have something like an alt left click and that might be a buy limit or you can have an alt right click for your sell limit. And then maybe a stop might be a, a shift left click for a stop and a shift right click uh, for a uh, 
a buy stop or something. You can have different setups for different things, but it's basically going to allow you to execute things faster. Now, this is still pretty basic as far as your orders are concerned. Uh, you know, buy here, sell here, that sort of thing with one click. If you want something more advanced, check out the X, A, B, C, D position tool. You actually draw once for your entry and once for your stop, and then you can configure how many targets you want, your break even, trigger your trailing stop, where that kicks in. All this is done visually on your chart. It makes things incredibly simple for a complex order, but it makes that complex order seem very, very simple. And you can see it visually on, all in your chart. So no custom coding ATMs, it's all done for you and you can visually see it. That's the XABCD position tool. And if you want to check something like that out, I will put a link in the description. Okay, NinjaTrader has upgraded the back end code for those of you who are coders. They have now edited or updated NinjaScript uh, editor to work with C Sharp 13. Uh, so this is going to, for the rest of you, update the back end code. Uh, for a lot of indicators and what that's going to mean is that on 8.1.6 you might have to upgrade your third-party indicators in order to use or get around some uh, other errors because they are going to be using uh, new features uh, or new feature set so this is going to provide them to allow you to or people like us to give you cleaner codes fewer workarounds with inner code uh, better maintainability of that code so if you are going to use 8.1.6 uh, hopefully they're going to be using c sharp 13 and be able to utilize this new function. okay this feature is called pulse it's actually a new uh, sort of window off of the control panel so you can open that up go to new and then pulse it's actually going to show you real-time read on market participation so the pulse compares net longs versus net shorts and it shows the average entry so you can see basically a balance of pressure at a glance uh, this is a pretty simple formula there's nothing crazy about this however the odd thing i found at least is that it will only work if you have a ninja trader brokerage account so uh, i've had an Trader for quite a while and i use it with a different broker that integrates with ninja trader so that won't allow me to use the pulse feature, but uh, if you do have an Trader broker account, this would be a new feature for you. I think that this should be opened up to anyone. I don't know why it's limited, but I guess that's something that they might change in the future if they feel they need to. But right now it's only for those uh, customers. So there is a new feature that allows you to have either a 12 hour or a 24 hour chart uh, time. So I think that's actually useful. Uh, it's nothing earth shattering, but I think it can be handy, especially for those of us that operate on the 24 hour clock mainly. So I think it just provides a lot of clarity to it. And, and that's now available in 8.1.6. So I'm excited about this one. This one is very simple, but they in the last uh, build 8.1.5, they released uh, indicators description area in your indicators. And one of the things that we wanted at least was a link so that we can use hot links or support hot links so you can click it in order to get updates or other information about the tool. So a lot of people that use our news tools, um, they can just go to our index or basically our indicator and get hot linked uh, right to all our updates that we do to maintain our code and add in new features and all that fun stuff. So that is available now uh, through all of our indicators and it's going to be hopefully supported uh, by other members too. So there were some bug fixes that occurred as well. Now I will mention that these bug fixes are more of it refining the platform. Uh, a lot of them you're probably not going to hit. So for example, there was a trading template that worked only on or didn't work on, on Saturday sessions and it would actually crash the platform that's been fixed. So plus one for stability of the platform there. Uh, we also had a strategies duplication of that or a duplication of the strategies tab that would reset your PL to zero, which would be <laughs> scary when it came to reviewing your, your performance and whatnot. That bug fix has now been... Uh, so also a big sigh of relief for anyone tracking the results uh, to do with uh, strategy testing and, and duplicate strategy tabs. Um, they had some delta bars that were not working with tick replays. That is now working and it does work with tick replays. 
as well as they had a candle rendering error that was happening. So this is kind of like a nasty one, but it prevented candlesticks from rendering, like showing on your on your screen. Uh, that's obviously a hard stop for anyone trading and testing. So that's been fixed. And that uh, is obviously important for stability and a win for this release. Uh, so there's actually eight features that we went over as well as five fixes uh, that would remove a lot of landmines in your trading. So if this helped, which I hope it did, uh, please hit that like button so that other, other traders will see it and be able to uh, stay informed with Ninja Trader's latest releases and drop us a comment with me. I don't know, maybe a feature you'd like to see. What about that undo button? Are we ever gonna see that one? What do you think? Uh, anyways, toss in, in the comments what you'd like to see. I'd be very curious on hearing that. Uh, anyways, trade well. And until next time, if you do wanna get these update videos, uh, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.